No. All right. Um, good day, Mr. Dickinson. Um, thank you for coming in today. Um, hmm. I understand that you've had a recent loss in the family. Uh, so I'd like to discuss this matter with you a little bit. But um, first, I'd like to get your details really quick. Um, what is your oh, full hmm. name? And so, mm -hmm. so my full name is Peter Dixon. Do I have to spell this for you? Dick, I've got Dick and Peter. Yeah, I, I no, no, I, I, that's, I, I have that. And okay. um, what is your your date of birth? Uh, my date of birth is fifteenth of June of nineteen sixty six. Okay. And uh, do you have an address uh, so that we can oh. put on file? So I live in the number forty nine Durham Lane Dulwich I W five. Full PT. Say that number again. Uh, the, the postcode again. ISW5 full PT. Okay. And um, I have here your phone number as 07952677497. Is that the best number to reach you at? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, yes. I don't want be. I don't want to be contacted by 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 this number. Uh, okay. Is there a better number to contact you at? Uh, or would you prefer to be contacted by email? Uh, I will. I will leave you this information later. Um, uh, this. Okay, and uh, I would appreciate it uh, as you are a new client if you could provide us some form of identification and, and maybe some some uh, a piece of mail confirming your address for client onboarding purposes. Um, okay, um, you can do that now or you can do that some other time. Um, we don't need to, to do it to, to do it right now this second. Okay. Um, okay. if you hope uh, if you bought it that's great but we'll leave we'll take it, a photocopy of it later okay. um, but anyway i i understand that you had a recent death in the family um could you uh explain to me the the situation um so my mother nancy dixon uh nee jones uh has died at her age uh 85 uh, she lived in a care home for the last few months of her life and suffered from dementia. Uh, uh, okay. She, she still own, uh, when, when she dies, she still owned uh, her home. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I got a will from her. Okay, uh, so th there is a will? Uh, well, as far as I know, there's a will. Uh, I have a copy of the, I have brought a copy of this will with me. Okay. Uh, it's dated uh, day 12th of June, 2004. Okay. Um, is there any, could you, could you show me the will? Okay, of course, yeah. All okay. right, I'll take a look at this will here. Okay. Um, so, very short will. Nancy Dickinson of Blackberry Lodge, Green Lane, Broxburn, Hertfordshire, dated June 12th. Is that the address of the property? Blackberry Lodge, Green Lane, Broxburn, Hertfordshire? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, so that's the property. Mm -hmm. um, all wills and testimony for all previous. I appoint my husband, Gilbert Dickinson. Okay. Okay, so she uh, she appointed her husband Gilbert and you as executors. Mm, yeah, it seems like yeah. Okay, and I give the sum of five thousand dollars to my son Gary Stewart, free of taxes, and I give the residue of my estate to my husband Gilbert. Signed by 
Gilbert by Nancy Dickinson. Okay. It appears to have been signed by her with an attestation clause and with two uh, witnesses as appropriate. Um, who is who? Is, Gilbert Dickinson is your father, right? Uh, he's not. He's who is not. Gilbert Dickinson? Um, he, he, he is his hus uh, is Nancy's her husband of his of her previous marriage. How did you get the last name Dickinson? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. He's he's a father. Yeah. Okay, so he is your father. Okay. And who is Gary Stewart? Uh, Gary Stewart. As far as I know, I don't know him, but maybe he is from her previous marriage. She she says that she Gary Stewart is her son. Yeah. But this is not your brother? No, because you can see from, from his surname, he has nothing yes. to do with it. Yeah, okay. Um, is, is your father, Gilbert Dickinson, still alive? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, do, do you know who this Gary Stewart is? As far as I know, I don't know him. Um, but but as I suppose, I, it's her son from from her, like I said, from her previous marriage. Um, okay. Um, so, in that case, this appears to be a validly executed but, but, will. But, but, but I I know something about Gary. What, okay. So Gary is a son from from her previous marriage and died in a motorbike crash two years ago. Oh, okay. All right. So Gary is deceased. Okay. Um, did so, uh, but so uh, did 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 Gary leave a will or or did he leave any uh, other family members? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Gary. Gary was married with a. Uh, 12 year old son called Terry. As okay. far as I know. Okay. But, but regarding the will, I, I I have no information about this. Okay. Well, if he is deceased and uh this is just this is the the as the gift is an absolute gift to Gary. There's no mention of his heirs. Uh, he may not take the, the gift may have lapsed. Um, so we'll, we'll have to check in on the status of this 12 year old son um, to see whether or not the gift lapsed. As for the remainder of the state, it will pass to Gilbert, which um, uh, is, is he is your father. He's still alive. You and him. So uh, what other assets are there besides the house? Um, Does she have I, any businesses I, or any, I, I think, any bills? She, she has some money, but I'm not sure the amount of the money. Okay. So there's some cash. Mm -hmm. um, no businesses, cars. Probably there will be, but I'm not quite sure about this. Okay. Any life insurance policies? Oh, I don't know about this. Okay. We'll need to make an inventory mm -hmm. of this uh, to for, for the estate. We'll get working on this um, to make, make an, uh, the, the house should be jointly owned by your father and your mother. So it should be, hopefully it is out of the estate um, unless there has been, unless they made different arrangements. Some bank accounts may also not be part of the estate. They may be jointly owned and 
that that interest may would be outside of the estate. A life insurance policy might be outside of the estate. We'll have to do an inventory of all assets and liabilities because we have a limited amount of time to, um, we have to, there may be inheritance tax due on, on this, uh, if it's uh, 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 below the, uh, below the nil rate band threshold. So of uh, 375,000 pounds or 600, and this, in, this, uh, this zero rate threshold can be passed on, uh, the unused portion of it can be passed on to your father, um, uh, Gilbert, for his estate. So to, to make sure that the, 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 the more we can pa you pass on, the better. Uh, so uh, especially since the house could be of substantial value, um, all of this to mitigate uh, pro probate taxes, inheritance tax, IHT. Um, so uh, the next point I'd, I'd like to go over this, um, you're, you're, you are listed as an executor in the will, uh, as is your father. Are, are you willing to serve as an executor? Yes, yes, oh. I'll, I'll be willing to do so. Okay, and your father will also be, be serving as an executor? I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think so. Oh, uh, I, I can confirm this with you later. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll need to, 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 to figure that out. Um, as of right now, so as long as you're will, if, if your father does not want to serve or if you don't want to serve as an executor, um, we, we, we can... Uh, there's a process where we can find another executor for the will, uh, but that's not an issue. Right now we'll file uh, papers uh, because we have the will. We'll file papers uh, for letters of probate with you and your father and attach the will as, as you and your father as, 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 as the joint executors. And we will uh, start the process of um, of um you know administering the will um do you have any uh, other questions for me so what does being an executor mean for me right so being executor means that you are a trustee for the the, the your mother's property and it's your you are uh, required to uh, follow out the, her last wishes in her will and distribute that property according to the will uh, as she wanted. So uh, so I, I don't follow her will. Well, I have any liability? Uh, yes, you can get in trouble there uh, and people can sue you to enforce the, the beneficiaries of the will of which okay. there are only two here could can sue you to compel you to carry out those wishes um, you are under obligations not to waste assets although there aren't many assets here capable of being wasted um, we don't see it i don't know of any cash or cars or anything there's no substantial existence uh, that I can that I can see, um, we have to take particular care uh, of minor uh, uh, beneficiaries under the will who are who are obtaining gifts. Which your twelve year old nephew Terry may, uh, assuming that this gift, whether or not this gift lapsed on, uh, because it is just a gift to to um, to. Uh, so, Gary, Gary, Gary Stewart, not to his heirs and assignees. So, so you can see Terry is only twelve years old, and he yes. was not married with Gary. Is Terry entitled to inherit the, the money left by my mother to Gary? I don't think so, but I, I he is a minor. I'd have to check on this. 
Um, oh. it, it, the gift is for 5,000 to my son, Gary Stewart, free of char- taxes. If Gar- Gary has passed on, um, it should uh, ideally, if it was intended to go to Gary's heirs and assignees, it would say get, gift to Gary's heirs and assignees. So, okay. Um, is there anything else you want to cover? Uh, you just mentioned the RHT tax. Yes. So, can you explain me a little bit more? How does it work? Okay, so this is why we need to make an inventory of the assets of the estate and why some things are not in the estate, like certain accounts or insurance policies or the property. Uh, if there is a joint, uh, like, like for example, that the, the property is probably jointly owned as a, a joint tenant on the will with your father. So the house will be outside of the estate. The value of the estate is... Um, it is subject to an inheritance tax. I and we need to fill out IHT four hundred if that I inheritance tax is due um, on the value of assets being transferred from the deceased, from your mother Nancy Dickinson, to the heirs, like uh, primarily your father, or to Gary. So, and there, there could potentially be tax owed on this estate if it is above the nil rate band of 375,000 pounds. And like I said, since your father Gilbert is still alive, um, that nil rate band apply, can be, the unused portion of that nil rate band can be transferred to him So that so, up to up to the, so that potentially and the nil rate band for an estate can be up to six hundred and fifty thousand pounds. So what does joint tenant mean? Uh, it is a form of property ownership on on a deed that indicates that uh, the ownership of the property is jointly held, and that the interest in the property extinguishes on the death. Of uh, of each individual um, owner until there is only one owner left, at which point the property is just held absolute. So how can I know whether the property property was held um, uh, under a joint tenant or anything well, else? Well, there should be a deed for the property. If it is unregistered property, the deed will be in the possession of hopefully your your um, your father. If it is registered property, the deed will be registered and we can go and find it at the land registry. The deed will say whether or not that this pro- whether or not this property uh, was owned by either your mother, by your father, or by both of them jointly with okay. the right of survivorship. It okay. will say they are joint tenants with right of survivorship. Okay. Uh, Otherwise, and since they were married, the solicitors and conveyancers that did print transfer that, that did sell this property to to your parents, unless they were doing did not do their job correctly, or unless the uh, your parents very specifically chose not to be joint tenants, uh, i.e., they they chose to be tenants in common instead they will be there's a presumption that they are joint tenants since this is a married a married couple um, okay. owning property jointly so unless unless your mother owned the property entirely on her on her own okay but i i don't know we need to see the property deed for that and we can find it it's either in the possession of your father or at the land registry and we can we can obtain it very very quickly okay understood Okay. Is there anything else that you would like me to cover? Um, that's nothing else. What can you give me a indication of the next steps that we, we are going to do? We are going okay. to help. So we will. Um, I will send you a client care net letter, uh, putting out all the advice that I everything discussing everything that we've um, discussed today. And uh, we will have a, a hourly price quote for you. We expect that we can probably uh, accomplish this in uh, 
the 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 the, the administration of this straightforward will in about uh, six to twelve months. Um, costs may vary, um, but for the administration of this estate, we normally charge a fixed fee of between thirty five hundred pounds and five thousand um, pounds, in plus BAT on top of that. Okay. Um, so that that will be our approximate cost and timeline, uh, assuming that you are we are instructed instructed and assume that there isn't any further litigation with the estate. Um, so. Um, okay, sounds yeah. cool. All right, and, and will that be all? Yeah, well, it's all for me. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Dickinson, and I will uh, be in touch with you shortly. Thank you. All right.